Many cows, moo, 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 moo. Many cows, moo, 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 moo. Many cows, moo, 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 moo. Many cows, moo. Hey everybody, welcome to Kirchberg Mini Farms. I'm your host, Kip Kirchberg. If you haven't done so already, give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our channel. We'd greatly appreciate it. Well, today we're out here doing some planning. Planning is a key to any small farm. Well, large farm at that. And what we're getting ready for is we're getting ready to get some more mini cows. We got about seven more coming. And we are getting some more miniature donkeys. So to do that, this little pasture right here is simply not going to be enough. So we're going to be out here walking around the property today, checking out where we could put some more fences and, and mark off some property of, of where the new pastures could be. So. Uh, Come along and hang out with us as we, we go do that. Right now, I'm standing by the main pasture here and the reason why all our mini cows are starting to huddle up and our donkeys, you know donkeys, look at them, so cute. They're starting to gather around here because they've seen me come out. Oh, bones. Here we got all the donkeys and the cattle lined up in the fence. Well, the mini cows, our mini Hertfords, they're all lined up because they see me grab this blue bucket. Now this blue bucket, I typically put oats in for a boy right here, Christopher. Christopher gets a little bloated and he needs some oats every few days. So we give him some oats and that, that gets his old system going and he thins right back down. He's not too bad today. We've been trying to keep him regular. So he's doing pretty good. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, buttercup. But they're all out here at the fence. They're wanting some loving today. The sun's up. It's shining. Got the dogs out. Got to find Ducky. There he is. There's our little Ducky. Dr. Mallard. Hey, Dr. Mallard. We call him Ducky for short. The dogs are happy. They've had cabin fever. It's been cold. It's been nasty. But we're out today in this beautiful sunshine. And like I said... We're going to be out here planning some new fence line for some additions to our herd. And uh, right now we got these guys on a little over a half acre, I think 0.7 acres. And we're getting ready to plan out um, probably seven, eight more acres of pasture. But we're going to we're going to break that up so we can do some rotational grazing and, and get these guys moving around so they don't beat up on the land too much. And uh, be self-sustaining. My objective is to... Uh, Get these cows and these animals grazing on pasture and then we're getting some Rhode Island red chickens some Oppington's upper I don't know what they are they're another pretty big chicken and uh, we'll put those out on the pasture after the cows and then I'm looking for some little pigs some good little homestead pigs so hopefully we'll add those out here as well but uh come along with us as we go uh, tour the property take a look at where we're gonna put some fence lines and just hang out here and and watch all the animals Get the bucket and get us some uh, some feed. What is it? What is it? Get him! Get him! Go get him! Those two are crazy. <sighs> Still cold. We are back in the barn. Whew. We've had good luck keeping our grain and stuff in the metal bins. I was just keeping it out. But I'll tell you what, you attract a lot of mice and moles doing that. So, let's see, what can I scoop this way? I had a scooper. Hmm. The bucket. There we go. We got some clean oats is what we give them. And uh, now I'm going to go uh, inside, throw some water on it, and let it soak for an hour or two. And then we'll give it to them. And that seems to, to help get a system kicked up and, and running like it should.
pretty windy out here right now, but walking across the front area of our property and this area here is where I'm going to put some pasture. I think I'm going to keep this open, just fence right here along these trees. You know, leave about six, eight foot for a mower. And uh, leave this area up here open. Now, I've, I've had discussions with Jody. We're thinking about running a fence also across the front here so that we got a, uh, a barrier so if the dogs are out here running around doing stuff, we don't have to worry about them getting in the road. So now we're headed down an edge of a field area here where I think I'm gonna put, bring that fence out. So we just came from down here. I think what we're gonna do as part of the planning is take the fence out somewhere over in here and then shoot down probably just to the left of this trail and leave this area open. but. Let's walk down here and see what we got. Come on, puppies. Come on. Look at them. They're crazy. They definitely got that cabin fever. Yeah, so I started clearing that last fall when I first got the tractor. All that area you see clear there. I don't know if you can see it real good. See that clear area? That used to look like this. Yep, and a lot of people don't believe it, but I got a couple videos on it, or should. If I don't, I need to get one going. I did all that with a tiller. That's right, my tiller I got. 72 inch tiller on the back of my Coyote tractor. That cleared all that out, tilled it up, made it pretty. Went from this to that nice clear area. I'm not really tall enough to reach, but you get the idea. It's as clear as this path here. If you look off to the right here, this is why I kind of want two fences. I want a barrier over here, and not really a barrier. Mostly across the front, the barrier so the dogs can't get in the road. But what we've got over here is we've got some wetland. So our property has like a horseshoe lake around it. Pond, swamp. I don't know what they call it around here. It's just wet. You could put a little boat in it if you wanted to. You ain't gonna ski in it. But you can go float around. But uh I definitely don't want the animals going over there. Plus I want a buffer between here and there in case we need to do work on the fence. And I figured this trail we've been using would be that perfect barrier. So as we get up here to the divide, I'm gonna run that fence probably straight down the middle here. I'll have to bring the tractor out, clear some more property. I'm thinking I'm gonna run it straight down. Just clear it out. This will give us about two acres, this area we're looking at about two acres of, of ground to to let the animals graze on. Ducky! Come here! Here he comes. Here he comes. Good boy! That's a good boy! That's a good boy! Yeah! That's a good boy! That's a good boy! Yeah, so see, we, we think we're going to leave this trail open again. This is the outer trail, runs right up against this area here. We think we're gonna leave this outer trail open, put the fence, you know, probably coming through here, right where that Y was we just talked about. We're gonna bring it out here somewhere. There's a cross divide trail. Yeah, it's right there. It's right there, we'll we wander through this 100 acre woods. See what, see what we got. Yeah, so right there is a trail. We'll bring that fence probably in through here so it's more straight. And I think we're gonna cut across over here. I gotta go see. I did it all on aerial maps, part of the planning. But uh, I don't remember where. There's more of that ground we cleaned up. But again, we're doing a lot of planning. Having a lot of fun with this farm. That's what it's about. So as you can see, we're just out here walking around. You know, the key to this farm, we're having... <laughs> Jody and I have had so much fun. We laughed about it not long ago. We took a trip down to Florida. 
great trip to Mardi Gras in Lake Wells, Florida. And we had a blast down there, but on our trip, it was just me and her. And uh, we had we had a blast. Not just traveling and hanging out with each other, but uh, getting to see some friends and family and uh, really a bunch of friends that have become family and uh, hang out with them. But we got to reflecting on a lot of cool stuff. We're like, you know, we hear about people saying they're gonna do, gonna do. They dream of doing these things. Well, I gotta tell you, me and Jody have been blessed. We, we recognize that no matter what, we're given opportunity. And if we seize on that opportunity, we're never given more than we can handle. It's amazing how that works. You know, take this land. I've always had a dream of having a small farm. Now, my dream would be to have a large farm, make it full time, raise beef, cattle, maybe some chickens, some other things. I've always been fascinated by beef. The reality is, you can't afford the land. We have some land here that will afford us many cows, you know. And the land is the expensive part. It's not the act of doing the other stuff, it's it's the land. So we, we've been blessed with this property, we're thankful. And I think we've been given just enough for what we can handle. Not an ounce more, not an ounce less. And to fund all this, it's funny, when you don't need money, we laughed. We're broke as a joke. But man, if we need something, or there's something needed for this farm, or we're doing things, it's like the skies open up, and we're given this abundance of funds to reinvest in our property. We, we, uh, we, we just find that fascinating and amazing. Again, we're never given more than we can handle, and uh, at the same time, we're going out and doing stuff. So just buying the cows, Jody talked me into that about two years ago, year and a half ago. Year and a half ago, just buy them, just get them. Let's get started, it's been a dream. And here we are, we're, we, we, we bought them, we were at our property in North Carolina. Um, unfortunately, things didn't work out there, but again, a blessing in disguise. Things happen for a reason. So. We had a beautiful home in North Carolina. I had a great opportunity, worked with a great company, doing some really cool stuff. It's just, there were some challenges there, mostly financial, um, but it was a learning experience. We got our mini cows. We learned a lot. We met some really cool people. And when the opportunity afforded us to come back to Michigan, we, we didn't hesitate. Um, was I stepping away from a dream job, dream opportunity? Absolutely, and technology, I was, I felt like I was at the top of the top of the world. I was, I was living the dream. But at the end of the day, that's not where my heart was. My heart was in agriculture, in farming, and doing some other things, being with family. So when that opportunity came up to come home, we, we seized it. And I'll tell you what, we came here, we've had some more blessings happen. We've been very thankful. Jody's in real estate, hey, she's living her dream again. And I'll tell you what, that old girl, I am proud of her. She has been busy. She's been out there hustling. She's been getting things done. And uh, she's meeting new people. It's been great. And quite frankly, uh, her efforts are what's helping us in, in our in our dream and our journey to get this, this farm established and get things going. But, uh, um, you know, again, we've, we've been given a lot of things. We love it. And uh, we're, we're setting up this mini farm. Again, we're, we're getting ready to go get some more cattle. We're going to get some more cattle. That's why we're out here in the field today. We, we've got work to do. we got... We got some more cattle to bring in here. We got some more things to build for this farm so we can be self-sustaining. It's gonna be awesome. I'm just excited, I'm beside myself again. So if you can see it out here. Oh, there's my sand hill cranes, you hear them? They're out there, they're out there in that swamp area. Oh, and I got some flying back here. I don't know if you can see them. Probably can't. No, they, they live back there. They live back there in the far far end of our woods, back there in the, the wetlands. but. Yeah, we're out here, and as you can see, this is where the other fence is, and, and just to give you perspective, right there is where the other pasture is. So I just did this big circle, and what I want to do is come through this area here, not on this path. You know, little Piper's got a little four-wheeler. Can't block that off. But uh, this path here we just walked on. This other path I cleared out, this is where the fence row is going to go. We're going to butt that right up to that fence. So uh, it'll give us some more pasture. we got to plan some water lines. I tell you what, I get to play with some equipment. That's going to be fun. We got to get some water lines buried out here. I think we're going to get some electrical buried out here. 
and uh, I've been thinking you know I need I need a central hub you know one of my visions for this farm is to show people where we've come from and take them along on our journey of where we're going and and how we got there it's not gonna happen overnight but part of that vision is I'd like to have you know obviously water for my pastures maybe a little shack out here with some power um, I think I'm gonna feed some fiber optics out here or something out here to feed some data because what I want to do is in every field every area of the field I want to put cameras live streaming cameras so you guys can can see in real time what's going on on the farm if we got you know new calves that are coming being born you guys can be a part of that Jody wants some mini goats so you can sit there and watch the mini goats and kill some time but uh, yeah I, my vision is is I, I want videos out here I want to be able to see what's going on, on our land I want to see when the deer We've got some beautiful deer that come back through here man they're they're awesome they come back through here all the time matter of fact we'll go see if we can find some of their prints in this fresh snow I think they've hunkered down because Minnie's been out here but we'll go look for them but yeah I, I got a lot of visions for this property and I'm going to take you guys along on this journey it's going to be a lot of fun we got a little coyote tractor to help us with this effort and just uh, friends and family we're going to be digging some uh, fence posts just like we did here we, we did that field in a day ah two days one day we had the majority of it done but I ran out of fence had to finish that backside the second day. wasn't hard. It's not perfect, but it's mine. It's paid for. And I like it. My cows like it. So, that's where we're at. So what do you guys think? You guys have to leave some, some comments down there. Let me know what you think of the farm. Let me know what you think of our journey. Is there anything I could do better? You know, like I said, I'm blocking off parts of this field so we can do rotational grazing. But my other thing is, uh, okay, so here's what I was thinking. I got many cows. I'm going to have some goats. I'm going to have chickens. I'm going to have pigs. Well, we got a lot of coyotes. They come from back there. That's what led me to the mini donkeys. You know, donkeys protect livestock from predators. That's why they're in there with the mini cows now. But I got to thinking, you know what? They don't always have to be in there. But what they got to be able to do is circle the wagon. You know, back in the old days, something was going on or... Or the pioneers were camping for the night to protect themselves they circled those wagons they got all the wagons together and they created this little circle and and protected everybody in the center well i'm kind of thinking the same thing with the with the donkeys i want to do the past rotational pastures out here as you can see we got a lot we can use a lot and then there's more and then there's more and then there's more and then there is no more. But we got a lot. So what I was thinking is, hey, if I if I break this up, so you see the pasture here, I'm gonna do a pasture over here, then another pasture, another pasture, and another pasture. I think I got five pastures total, maybe six that I'm gonna set up. But then around the perimeter, I wanna leave that buffer I told you guys about for two reasons. One for so Miss Piper can ride around on her four wheeler and check things out. Two so me and Jody can run machinery around the perimeter of the fence, keep the fence line clean, check on the livestock without getting in, inside, and run around the property. But then I got to thinking, if I run another fence on the outside where I was showing you guys by the water, or in that area, what if I made that a run for the donkeys? So we're gonna have like seven donkeys on the farm total when I'm done. What if I made that so the donkeys can run the perimeter of the property? They just got free rain to run the perimeter. It's, it's going to be a lot, I tell you what. It's going to be a lot of ground for them guys to cover, but I think they'll do it. What do you guys think about that? Am I am I thinking right? Am I, are we circling the wagon in the right way, or, or am I complicating things? Let me know. Leave a comment down below. Give me your feedback. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. And here we are walking towards the back of the property. This is, this is going to be another section. But... Uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Anyways, I think I gabbed enough. I think I took, gave you guys a little oversight of what we're doing, what we're planning, what we're getting ready for. We're going to keep working on that and uh, see where it takes us, see what this plan ends up. Guys, leave some comments below. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. You know, we're at 75. Guys, I can't thank you enough for that, but we're trying to get to 100. 
I'd like to get to 100. That's my next goal. So if you, if you get if you know somebody, you think somebody could like the channel, share it with them, tell them to give us a thumbs up, tell them to subscribe. You know, we'd love to have them. All right. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. I'm just going to wander around the property. I'll show you guys some shots here and there, but uh, I'm Kip with Kirchberg Mini Farms, and we'll catch you next time.